And then I put one of his snake plants into an... No. Hey guys, it's Mian, and this is Beauty With Me. Welcome to part two of Mian Declutters her beauty space. Colin and I are fortunate enough to live in an apartment here in Brooklyn, New York, where we actually have a spare room that when we moved in, we had intended to be a filming slash guest room slash office space, but it really just ended up being a guest room slash dumping ground. I have always dreamed of having a space where I can actually film my beauty videos, have a desk where I can try out new product and actually store my product in an efficient and functional way. So I finally decided to hunker down and do this thing. And this is the fruits of my slash hour because it was a group effort labor. The space before was not ideal. It had really pink walls. I liked the walls, but not ideal for filming. It just made the room feel kind of dark. The old bed that I had in here was really big. The idea for transforming the space was to make it brighter, better organized, and pretty enough to use as a backdrop when I film. Before I show you all the fun in the entire process though, please make sure you are subscribed down below. Little red button, Beauty With Me comes out every Monday at 11 a.m. And while you're at it, take out your phone and follow me on Instagram at mian.chan. And please excuse my horsey voice, I am getting over a cold. Okay, so this was a three day process. On day one, Colin and I decided to paint the walls. So we purged the room, donated a lot of items to Goodwill, sold a few items and just minimized the amount of stuff that was in here so that we could put it all in the center and really paint the walls. So we just went for a very classic white shade with a satin finish, something that would really reflect light and make it brighter and feel bigger when I'm filming. So day two was all about new furniture. So I decided to reach out to Ikea because they are so great for small space solutions. And they decided to help me out by sending over a desk and a sleeper sofa that would fit this space. So the desk that I got was the Ikea Alex desk that matches the Ikea Alex drawers that I already had. When it came to the sleeper sofa, I did so much research trying to find one that was small enough to fit a desk and have room to walk around, but also when it pulled out, could comfortably sleep two people. I landed on the IKEA Like Cell unit, which is just like a futon kind of style sleeper sofa that you can pull out to a full bed. It is hands down like the smallest, most functional unit for the price that I could find. It does the job. My sister slept on it last week and she said it was very comfortable. We also got some under bed storage from IKEA that we use to hold like our linens and towels and that sort of thing. We're going to see if it fits. Once all the furniture was in place, it was time to tackle the things that needed to be drilled and adhered to the walls. My coworker Anthony, who shoots my videos and is also my friend, quote, loves to build things. So he did all the drilling and I handed him the screwdriver. We have accumulated a couple of different instruments over the years, so we like to mount them up on the wall. We moved on and put up the bulletin board on the right side of the room. So one of my former coworkers had this awesome show on Refire29 called Be Organized, and she created this amazing wall-mounted ring light setup for a beauty blogger here in New York. I loved this setup. When I saw it, my mind was like blown, and we decided to recreate this setup. We got this awesome secondhand boom arm that can turn and be stowed away to hold a ring light. What's really great about it is the boom arm can be angled different ways so that different parts of the room are visible. It also keeps the stuff on the floor to a minimum. There's no like leg stands on the floor, no wires. It's a really nice like seamless setup and it's also always there and I think it encourages me to film. Hi guys, we just put in the boom arm with the ring light. Thank you. <laughs> so it doesn't go flush against the wall like we had hoped, but if you loosen this knob right here and this one right here, 
you can just spin it down and put it flat against your radiator like that and it'll tuck away behind the desk. Yes. I figured some of you might be interested in the type of gear that I use. I use a Canon G7X camera to record and then I actually also got this really cool multi-function ball head shoe mount to put on my ring light to hold my camera. This is really cool because you can use it to record horizontally or vertically. I have always wanted a floating plant shelf. They're not just beautiful and make for a gorgeous backdrop for filming, but they keep all the plants up and out of my cat's reach because she is a chewer and she has killed many, many, many of my plants. After all of that was up, it was time to move on to day three, which was all about organization and decor. I decided to keep my nine drawer Alex unit tucked away in the corner. I purposefully kept my skincare away from the window because direct sunlight can actually impact the efficacy of a lot of the actives in your skincare products. I also put this beautiful gold mirror from Target above it so that I can look into it as I apply my skincare. Okay, so moving on to the desk drawers. So on the left side is where I keep my camera equipment, my hair straighteners, my jewelry, hair accessories, and the right side is where I keep my go-to makeup products and makeup products that I want to test out. So that's like eyeshadows that I just got that I haven't given my full, full trial run yet. The idea is I'll be moving things out of this drawer as I try them pretty regularly. So in terms of decor, I decided to upcycle a couple of the candles that I had burned down. So I use empty candle vessels for a couple of different things. You can put pens in them, I put my brushes in them, uh, cotton swabs, that sort of thing. And you can also use them as plant pots because plant pots are very expensive and candle holders are so cute. Decanting your candles is actually really, really easy. I like to pour boiling water into the vessel and then wait for the wax to kind of get to the top, cool down, then it makes it really easy to just scoop the wax up, clean out the candle, and then put whatever you want into it. Anthony, the gift that keeps on giving, is also an avid plant dad. He propagated a couple of plants for me from his like plant collection. And I put one of his aloe vera plants into an old olfactory candle that I had that says hot fire on it. I think it looks really cute. And then I put one of his snake plants into an old clay pot that I had lying around. So I've had this cutting of what I think is a pothos. Man is both a plant lady and a cat lady. I stole it from work. Actually, I didn't steal it. It gave its baby to me. Once all my plants were potted, I put them up on my floating shelf and created my floating plant wall and moved on to decorating the rest of the space. Urban Outfitters and Target were kind enough to send me a few items to gussy up the space. This stool is absolutely gorgeous. It's a rattan stool, and I love rattan, um, that I'm using as my desk chair. I decided to go for a stool because it can be pushed under the desk when the bed is pulled out. I also got this really cute triangular wooden side table from Urban Outfitters that I'm using as kind of a side table for the bed. The IKEA bed is really functional and really great for what it does, but it does look pretty plain when it just has the gray cover on top. So to dress it up, Target sent me this gorgeous bohemian kind of white pillow and this waffle weave white blanket. And I got this Urban Outfitters fleece body pillow that just makes the couch feel so much more inviting. Last but not least, the carpet. So rugs, car... Carpets, what's the difference? I'm just gonna say it's a rug. Rugs just really tie rooms together in my opinion. So I got this gorgeous washable rug from Urban Outfitters. It has this cool like geometric kind of wabi-sabi kind of 
look to it and it's really colorful and the room itself is actually pretty neutral like it has the grays the whites so having this fun blue and pink and burgundy rug on the floor makes it just look so much more fun and Bootsy really likes it And that is it. I know that not everyone has the space or really the need for a setup like this, but I thought it would be fun to document since I wanted to do this anyway. And I do hope that there are some little hacks in here that you might take and apply to your space. I would also love your feedback on this type of video. So I, it's not, you know, your typical like makeup tutorial. Um, would love to know if you guys like to see these kind of organizational DIY beauty videos from me. And I will see you guys next week. And hopefully you will be seeing a lot more of me in this space. Bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. To subscribe to our Friday 29, click here. And to watch another video, click here. Bye.